Alright, so today we're going to make some roaming AI. Let's get started. Start off by making a new folder for your AI. Then we're making a new blueprint class for the character. Next, make another blueprint class and search for AI. We want the AI controller. Then open the character up. Change the controller to the one we just made and place to respond in world. And then I'm going to set the mesh to be man for now. Rotate him and bring him down inside the capsule. Compile, save that. Open up the AI controller. Go to the event graph. On begin play, you're going to drag out run behavior tree. We're just going to leave it like that for now. Close that. Now we're going to make a new artificial intelligence b behavior tree. I'm going to open that up. You're going to drag out of the root and get a c selector. And then from the selector, you're going to get a sequence. Now you're going to click new task. I'm just going to name this to roam. Open that up, override, receive, execute AI, drag out of the controlled pawn, get actor location, drag out of that and get a random reachable point in radius. I'm going to change this to 1200. And then you're going to drag out of the execute AI and get an AI move to. Connect the controlled pawn to the pawn and the destination into that pin right there. I'm going to change the acceptance radius to 100. This is just how far from the chosen point. Drag out of on success. Do finish execute and check it as success. And then do another one for on fail. And uncheck. Now go back to your behavior tree and drag out. And get the roam task that we just created. And then drag out of the sequence again and get a wait. I'm going to set the deviation to 1 and the weight to 2 and then you go back into your AI controller and plug your AI behavior tree in now let's go to add all classes add a nav mesh just gonna change this to 30 to cover my whole thing and you can just use P to toggle the the green on and off then I'm gonna drag out a few of the AI see if they're working There they go, they're moving around. There's no animations right now because we didn't set that up. Now we're going to set up the animation for Manny. We're going to go into his animations and duplicate his animation blueprint. I'm just going to name this one AI at the end. Open that up. Delete all this. Then we're going to get a try get pawn owner. Drag out of there and go is valid. Plug that in. Then from there you're going to cast to your AI. Promote that to a variable. Then get this out. Convert to get validated and plug it in. Is not valid goes down to your cast. And then you want to drag out of the try get pawn owner and go is player controlled. Add a branch. Plug that in. Get your AI up. Go velocity. And then the vector length. And then promote this to a variable. I'm going to name it speed. And then plug that into the false. And that should be good for there. Now we're going to go to the animation graph. Delete this. Plug in the default slot. Go into the locomotion, uh, the walk, get rid of this ground speed, we don't need that. And then you want to get the speed out that we just made, and plug that in. Now go back to locomotion and we're going to change the transitions here. You get speed and go greater than 10, plug that in, and then for the returning you go speed is less than 10.
plug that in. And that should be good for here. Now I'll just test it out. Go into the AI and set the animation blueprint that we just created. And we should have animations and be all good to go. I'm going to place a few more in and test it out. There we go. Now they're all running around. And they choose different times to begin moving. Thanks for watching.